Hello and welcome. If you're new to my channel, I'm Georgie from Healing Maids and today we're going to be looking at the pentacle or pentagram that is used um, to cast circles and what its meaning is. As a pagan, I've had a lot of people confuse the symbol, um, whether it is something that is satanic or whether it is they sometimes it gets confused with the Jewish symbol of the Star of David. Um, so as it's something that I have as a tattoo, which you can kind of see here, um, I have to be quite careful that I don't offend people. So I thought that I would do a video on the meaning behind it and to try and help people understand a little bit more because there's a lot of judgment around this still even though there are a lot more um, widely accepted different cultures around the world and within the UK where I'm based. So it's not really something that is solely associated with devil worship or Satanism. It's a symbol of protection and it's, it's a symbol of power. So it's not so much the symbol itself that is the issue, but what people associate it with and it's up to the individual how they use it. So yes, there is an inverted pentagram which is used in satanic um, rituals and beliefs. Um, it's not something that I know an overly lot about because it's not something that I follow or have ever followed. But I can tell you from the pagan standpoint what it represents. So you have the five main points of the star. So four of the points <clears throat> are associated with the four different directions. So we have north which represents earth and is also linked with the pentacles suit of the tarot. And then we have east which is air and represented by swords. I'm telling you the the tarot association at the same time because it can be you can bring tarot cards into your spell work when you're you're using a pentagram if you're using it for magical purposes. Um, then we have south which is fire and the suit of wands and then we have west which is water and associated with cups and emotions. Then the fifth point which is the, the top most point is spirit. Now when you're using this to, I'll, I'll get into this a little bit more in a second, um, but it represents spirit so it's the association also of as above, so below, so within, so without. It's to do with our duality. So whatever we believe in our in ourself is what we then manifest in the, the 3D world outside of us and bring into our reality. As well as being the duality between as above, so below. So <clears throat> when it comes to the mother and father aspect as well and the divine feminine so you've got the the different planets as well that would come into that because you've got the divine feminine which is the moon and then the divine masculine which is the sun um, and then mother earth is like the womb of the creation of both coming down into um, the, the physical realm so you would use a, a use it to cast a circle if you're doing magical workings um, as a, a means of protection. A lot of the time it is represented by there being five candles around you 
as a circle. Um, I personally have a tendency to call in the four quarters, which are your four elements, your four main elements, um, at their designated, I was going to say areas, but directions. So for your north, east, south and west, and then for spirit, it would be the centre of the circle, for, for me personally, how I would do it. Um, but you would go in a clockwise circle when you're going round and calling in the elements um, to increase energies or when you're doing manifestation spells to bring something in. And then you would go anti-clockwise if you are doing a banishing ritual or you are releasing something that no longer serves you, depending on what spell work you're doing. <clears throat> so when you cast a circle for magical purposes, there are, there's not many rules other than to treat the elements and spirits that you are calling in with respect but try and make sure that you have everything that you need like be fully prepared before you cast your circle and have everything you need within it because you are creating a a, a barrier an energetic safety barrier <clears throat> between you and your magical workings and any negative energies or energies that you don't want to be coming in on the outside which is the whole purpose of it you're making a sacred space to do your work um, so if you do forget something because let's face it it's easily done and most of us will do that at some point um, then use a you can use your finger or you can use a wand if you're using magical tools um, and things like that and you would then make a, a doorway an energetic or magical doorway to then be able to leave your circle to get what you need and then come back and then seal it back up again it's the same if someone else then suddenly needs to come in to your circle as well you would make a doorway for them to allow them access but hopefully they would be in beforehand if you're working with someone else um, but just in case that's what you'd do um, also <clears throat> when you are making the circle uh, the sorry not the circle when you're making a door to to come and go um, I would personally do it in a backwards way so where we would normally write from left to right I would create the door with a motion going right to left and then when you're resealing the door to because you're kind of powering down so you're going in a backwards motion to make the door and then from right to left sorry left to right using myself then left to right to reseal it so that you're going in a more forwards motion so it's almost like a anti-clockwise to create the door and then a clockwise to create it um, to seal it back up I hope I haven't confused you too much there with my explanation um, but yeah so that's the that's the basics of it when it comes to your casting a circle and using the pentagram and when it comes to to my tattoo that I've got it holds all of that and you've also got the I, I haven't covered the, the circle that goes around it so the circle that goes around it represents the eternal evolution of life like the never-ending circle of life and death because we're all energy so we're just morphing and changing and transitioning and that's represented by the circle that goes around the star and 
the the added element of my tattoo is the flames which is like the phoenix rising from the ashes so once again it's all to do with rebirth and just kind of rebuilding from nothing like when everything's been destroyed and then you're rebuilding the foundations and everything else that go with it so i know this is a bit of a, a short one today but thank you for joining me i hope that you found some interesting little bits in here i know it's pretty basic and a lot of people that may discover this may already know all of this if you are if you're already quite active within the craft then this is some of the basics that you would have covered when you first started but if you're starting out or you wanted to understand the symbol itself a little bit more then I hope that this has helped in your understanding and hopefully acceptance of pagans and regardless of what sect it is that they follow whether it be druids or they associate as a white witch um, it all gets used um, within those as well so thank you for joining me and I will catch you all soon if you've enjoyed this please give me a like let me know what you think in the comments and I will catch you all soon and don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this and would like to see my next video when it goes up love and light take care bye